When I was 14, we started the Alicia Project. We realized that there really was no internet safety awareness and education in schools. So we started to bring that into schools and telling my story. And I've had so many kids come up to me and say so many different things about that they were gonna go meet somebody. I've even had kids who were in terrible situations that I had to pass along to the principals and counselors. And then I've had a lot of kids who've come forward and said, Somebody hurt me when I was younger, and this is the first time I'm talking about it. And that's where I've really found my healing. Taking this horrible, awful, disgusting thing that happened and giving it a purpose. I used to say this happened for a reason. I survived for a reason. This is why I'm doing this. But try to tell a parent that who didn't get a successful recovery. That there's no reason in the world for that. We make reasons. We have to find that silver lining and I feel that I have found mine. It's helped me to heal so much. It's been extremely cathartic and it's grown into something pretty large. In college, I started speaking out in schools every Friday and have spoken out pretty much all over the country to so many different kids. A great place to learn more about the Alicia Project is to go to www.facebook.com slash Alicia Project on Facebook or you can just search for Alicia Project. I found that in so many ways that is better than a website because it's interactive. I can go talk to kids, I can go talk to law enforcement, and if they don't feel comfortable asking me a question while I'm there, they do, doesn't pop up, they can ask me online. And then also we've been working on Alicia's Law with the National Association to Protect Children. 2007, I testified before Congress for the Protect Our Children Act, and Alicia's Law is the state and local version of the Protect Our Children Act. It helps fund the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Forces at a state and local level. And this allows them the funding, the resources, the boots on the ground to go rescue these children. In Virginia, for example, where it's passed, there is a $10 fee on felony and misdemeanor convictions. And that goes straight to the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Forces. It's not coming out of any budget. It's not coming out of anybody else's pocket other than the pocket of criminals and it's working. They're able to investigate more of these cases and bring more children home. I often receive messages online from people that my audience that I spoke to and I always try to get back to them and often they share heartbreaking stories or heartwarming stories, words of encouragement. And it's so nice to know, it really shows how many that I've reached people that they can contact me back and we have to teach children how to protect themselves from monsters. We have to tell them the predators that are out there so that they can protect themselves. But parents also have to take that step and work to protect them too and be a parent first and a friend second.